So tell us, walk us through that first semester in college. Yeah, definitely. So I joined up at GW in 2006, and then I signed up to do biomed engineering. Because mm -hmm. at that time I was thinking, okay, I'm going to do something like engineering and medicine. So that's what I'm gravitating towards. I want to do a field that incorporates both of those fields. Because I was a real good bio student. And mm -hmm. I had good grades all around in all the subjects, but it was, some, uh, it's a, it was a subject that was particularly close to me. I wanted to go into medicine. Uh, Has that always been something you wanted to be since you were a kid? I think I wanted to be an adventure. That's what an I wanted to, okay. from a very young age. Like my like idols were like Da Vinci and Thomas Edison. I mm -hmm. also wanted to invent something new. I wanted to do something groundbreaking, life changing for people. Okay. So that's why I wanted to. But I don't know. It was somewhere down the line, medicine entered into that equation. So I was like, I like bio. I want to learn how the human body works. I want to cure diseases. So I was like, okay, let's do something that does medicine and engineering while keeping close to the innovation aspect, innovation aspect okay. inventing something new. So that's why I entered into biomed engineering and the first year was just like all these intro to engineering courses and stuff. I, was, I met Ian, in fact, on yeah. the first day in one of those intro to engineering courses. Yeah, yeah so the first day, I think it was in the, in the lab, right? In the lab, exactly. In the CS exactly. lab, right. In the CS lab, yeah. yeah. And the rest is history, guys. Here we are. We're in the same are. company, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, at GW and then at the same time in biomed engineering, not only do you have to do all those engineering courses, you have to do some of those medicine pre-med type of courses like uh, organic chemistry, uh, chem 2, and so forth, and biophysics. You have to take that, those courses. So I was able to do all of the biomed courses in three years. So okay. I had basically one year left over to do just like... Wait, wait, wait. So did any of the AP classes you take transfer over? Yeah, a lot of those AP classes transferred over. That's a good question. That okay. allowed me to finish all the biomed courses in three years instead of four years. Oh, so if I had uh, AP computer science translate over, I didn't have to take like the C++ class. It's one of the courses I didn't have to uh -huh. take. I think it might have been the C class. Right, okay. uh, calculus, I didn't have to take Cal 1 or Cal 2. <laughs> Knock that out. No, not Physics 1 and Physics 2. Knock that out. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. And I think so. Uh, technically, it was possible to graduate in three years. Exactly, it was technically possible to graduate for three years. But I had a scholarship for four years. I had to stay there for four years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just, what did you do in those like last four, last one year? Did you just take layup classes or just take classes for your for grad school? Or what? so yeah. I did a minor. So I did three I did minors. <laughs> three minors. So, <laughs> so I did a minor in physics, in biophysics, and computer science. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, incidentally, the physics courses and the biophysics courses overlapped quite a bit. So if you're able to do all the courses for biophysics, you essentially did all the courses for physics, uh -huh. minus like physics three or atomic physics. So I was able to do that, and then computer science. Yeah, I w I was already at that point where I was like building up my programming background, and this would come in handy for the next step in the journey when I actually went from biomed engineering to computer science, did a master's in computer okay. science. Okay, so prior to jumping there.